Hi North Beach Kids, how are you guys doing today? I saw some of the Honey Badgers last Friday over our Zoom call. That was really fun. Hopefully we can do that again. Today I want to talk to you about uh, a bug. It's kind of a special bug. It's called the stink bug. Do you know what do you guys know why this is called the stink bug? Yeah, because it makes a very stinky smell and not a lot of animals like it. And we're gonna talk about why make what makes this bug so special and how it makes this stinky smell but first i want to compare this bug to the bed bug they look very very similar they're both considered pests the one on the left side the one with the red s on it is the stink bug the stink bug um its body shape is different than the bed bug the stink bug's body shape is kind of like a shield a shield that people use to protect themselves is what it looks like. The bed bug, on the other hand, the one on the right side with the with the blue B on it, that's the bed bug. It has more of an oval shaped body. So those are the two differences. They we see them side by side and look very different, but a lot of people can't distinguish between the two because they're around the same size and they're both brown. And if you don't see them side to side, side to side, you might not know which bug it is. They are pests, which means People do not like these bugs in their house, especially bed bugs. If you get bed bugs in your beds or your couches or your cushions, they are very, very hard to get rid of and they are not the friendliest bugs. They like to bite and they make bites very, very itchy and it's really hard to get rid of them. So people do not want them in their house. Bed bugs like mosquitoes, they feed on human blood. So they suck on your blood. They leave behind red, itchy bumps that are not very comfortable. Um, we don't want to be scratching them because it makes it worse, but it's very, very hard to not scratch them. So bed bugs like the dark, but stink bugs, they actually, they like the light. They, if they get into our house, they don't go into our beds or our couches. They go, they hang out around the windows and the doors, but they are also hard to get rid of and people don't really want them in the house. But stink bugs, stink bugs do not normally go into people's houses. If they do, they are pests and people do not want them because when they are in our house, they multiply and then there are more and more and more and we do not want a bunch of stink bugs hanging around in our houses. So those are the differences between these two types of bugs. Uh, I just wanted to point that out because they are kind of similar, they look similar, but they act very differently. So back to stink bugs. Stink bugs, when they, the adult stink bugs lay eggs, they lay around 28 eggs and you know they're ready to hatch when you start to see a black triangle on them in the in that picture is kind of tiny i don't know if you can see it they develop a very small black triangle on them that means they're about to hatch and when they hatch they come out as red and black bugs kind of like ladybugs but they're very different they come out as red and black bugs but um they don't stay like that for very long they get bigger and bigger and this process is called molting so they don't change like they don't change like caterpillars to butterflies and that process do you remember what that was called metamorphosis yeah metamorphosis when they change from one to another stink bugs don't change but they do get bigger and when they get bigger that process is called molting that means they lose their outer shell they lose their skin that's too small for them and then they change it for a bigger one just like when our clothes get too small we get bigger clothes that fit us. So they do this five different times and they get bigger and bigger. And the biggest they get is around the size of a small button, like a button on our sweater. That's the biggest they can get. So those little circles in that picture on the top right next to the each bug, that's how big they are at each stage. So the biggest circle, the one on the very top, is the biggest they can get. So if you see a bug like that, that's the shape, that's the shape of a of a shield and that big it's probably a stink bug don't go squishing it because it's that smell is very very stinky so let's talk about the stink bug this one that i'm showing you is called the black marmorated stink bug this one is different than the other stink bugs the pictures that i'm showing you most of them are um are this one the black marmorated stink bug it's different because it doesn't bite people. Some of the other stink bugs do bite people and it's very it's a very painful bite. 
but this one doesn't bite people and he has a needle-like mouth between his legs that only comes out when he needs to eat and he doesn't drink blood like bed bugs do this guy eats fruits or they get juices from the fruits um, or other insects or plants so they don't eat they don't bite the fruit but they stick their needle like mouth like a mosquito into the fruit and that's how it gets its food it sucks on the juices of these different fruits and plants and sometimes even bugs so let's talk about what makes these bugs special they're called stink bugs because they make a smell that's very very stinky that smell some people um some people compare that smell to a skunk or stinky old socks and some even say it kind of smells like cilantro cilantro is a as a is kind of like an herb that we some people put in their food i don't think you guys eat it very much but some people say it smells like that so it's stinky skunk smell stinky socks or cilantro this is what people compare the stink bug smell to and you only they don't emit the smell all the time they only emit the smell if you squish it or if they feel threatened, then they produce this smell. So they, this bug does have predators, people, or not people, sorry, um, insects and other animals try to eat this bug. And when they do, they produce the stinky smell and make them go away, just like skunks do. They spray the smell so that other people won't mess with them. This bug does the same to protect himself. And a one big predator that this stink bug has is called the parasitic wasp. This is... This black bug is called the parasitic wasp, and they are very, very tricky predators for the stink bugs because they don't just eat the stink bugs. So the parasitic wasps, they lay their eggs where the stink bug eggs already are. So the baby parasitic wasps, wasps when they are hatched, they can eat the the eggs of the stink bug. So it's very tricky for them to protect these eggs and... Um, this parasitic wasp is a huge problem for stink bugs because they're not just eating them, which they can get rid of them with their stinky smell. Their babies, the eggs, they can't protect themselves. So these parasitic wasps who lay their eggs on with these bugs, they create a huge problem because they, they can't do anything about it. Um, but their stinky smell does protect them against other animals like birds, like reptiles these like this lizard and other insects but they're these birds these other animals don't eat stink bugs very much and why do you think that is yeah because they are stinky not only are they stinky but they don't taste very good they eat them and then they spit them back out or they eat them and they won't go back for seconds because they are stinky and we do not like things that are stinky. Just like we won't eat stinky cheese, these guys are not going to eat a bug that's stinky and also doesn't taste very good. So I mentioned a little earlier what these, um, what stink bugs eat. Do you remember what they eat? Yeah, they eat the juices from plants or fruits. And they create a huge problem for farmers because once they eat these fruit, the fruit usually dies or get rotten and they can't use them anymore. So they are a huge problem for farmers. They are a kind of pest in the garden. So farmers don't want these insects in their farms or in their um, garden because it makes them hard to grow fruit or these plants. See the fruit are browning and the leaves have holes in them. That's usually not a very healthy plant, and that's because of bugs like these that eat uh, the leaves or drink the juices from the fruit, which make the fruit go bad. And a little fun fact about these bugs, at, um, other than their six very long legs, they can actually fly. They have two sets of wings like most insects, the inner wings they use to fly. They can fly and they hang on to these fruits and they stick their needle-like mouth into the into the apple or the pear and they drink their juices and they multiply that means when once you have one in your garden they're going to lay eggs and more and more and more are going to appear and they're going to create a bigger and bigger problem for farmers in their garden because then all their plants are going to have these bugs on them and it's not going to let the fruits grow so farmers don't want these guys in their garden like most bugs um, this is why we have the ladybugs in our garden because ladybugs eat aphids. Aphids, the little plant, little bugs that make 
plants hearts grow, ladybugs eat that. So the, the ladybugs are very good for gardens. They eat bugs that harm plants. Um, and there's not a lot of bugs that eat the stink bugs because they don't taste very good. But um, some safe uh, fruit safe um, insecticides get rid of these bugs. But usually farmers are preventing these guys from coming into the garden. Um, so there are different kinds of stink bugs. The one that we've been talking about, the one on the top, is called the brown marmated, marmated stink bug. It's the most common type, um, and doesn't very it doesn't bite people. The one on the bottom is called the green stink bug. That green stink bug is very special because it can camouflage. Tony talked about camouflage in his in pretty previous video. Um, camouflaging means it can blend into its environment, so it's green. It's all green, which makes it looks look like the leaves. So uh, birds will not try to eat it. Lizards will not try to eat it. They are hiding from other other insects, other animals that are their predators. So that guy can camouflage because the brown ones, although they can't camouflage on uh, on the fruit or on on plants, they can camouflage on trees, on brown trees, and they kind of look like the bark on the trees. And there's another stink bug that I want to talk about is this guy over here. He has two very long legs in the back and kind of looks very scary looking. He's longer than the other stink bug. He has um, little claws at the end of their legs that are kind of like the claws on the jewel bug that we talked about. The claws help them grip, grip fruit and they grip the plants that they are standing on or grip the ground that they're on. It helps them hang on so they won't fall off. And this guy, his antenna isn't striped like the other one. This one, I didn't tell you the name yet. This is called the Western Conifer Stink Bug. Its antenna is one color. It can camouflage on tree bark um, and its legs look very scary. Um, it won't hurt you, but if you touch it, it won't. It will irritate your skin and is not going to feel very comfortable. So don't go around touching this bug if you see it. And he also can uh, emit a very stinky smell like the other stink bugs. All right, you guys. So that was the stink bug. Um, they don't travel around the city very much. I don't think we see them in the city, but if you do see them, they kind of smell really bad like the skunks or stinky socks. So don't squish them. If you squish them, be prepared to smell a stinky, stinky, stinky smell. All right, I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.